Okay, welcome everyone. Today is Thursday, November 26. It is uh, Thanksgiving. Got a little special message there on our daily financial market report. I want to make this market report update short and sweet. <laughs> All right, well, as sweet as I can, uh, I should say, considering everything that's going on. Now, when I say considering everything that's going on, I'm talking about the disruption in the market, um, mainly the cryptocurrency market. But again, guys, you would be able to see those disruptions if you have access to our daily financial market report. If you get access to our daily financial market report, you're going to be able to see this. You're going to be able to see the stressors. You're going to be able to see the the indicators of extreme stress, if there's um, uh, just a regular stress, and usually how old the uh, trade is, how long it's been going on that trend, you know, the older the shelf life, usually especially when that extreme stress starts coming over, and then boom, it, it can't handle it, or it's a takeover, and then all of a sudden there's a new trend, you'll know that. You'll be able to see that. For those of you, I'm talking to those of you now specifically who are interested in understanding the whole Bitcoin pricing, okay? You got some folks out there that have just, they're probably not having a, a happy day right now. I, I think I got a comment on one of my videos. Someone just looked like he wasn't having a happy day, but still said, look, happy Thanksgiving. You have a wonderful day, okay? Because there are going to be people that are not going to be happy with the results of the market and the direction the market is going, the direction the dollar is going, the direction the mark, the stock markets are going to go, the direction. Uh, uh, I was listening to another thing um, earlier and the guy just he was talking about how he invested in silver. Now, I understand that's usually I'm kind of going off. I said I was going to talk about the crypto, but I'll mention this on the commodities market. And I understand that you hear a lot of these programs, you're like, invest in silver, invest in gold. That's a safe haven, safe haven, safe haven. Guys, to be honest with you, I don't really believe that there's any safe havens when it comes to the financial market. You take advantage of the opportunity. If you're able to see which direction that asset is going, whether uh, you're able to see if it's going uh, short term, which is our version of CMV. And guys, I'm sorry, CMM, current market movement. And guys, my version and understanding of the short term is not even short term to the general Forex community. When they look at my report and they're looking at here and they're seeing, okay, he says short term, CMM. I'm going to make, you know, they're looking, oh, 12 days, nine days, eight days, 10 days. That's your idea of short term? Yeah, because I'm not teaching that quick, casino style thing i'm just not now you can get in what i do highly suggest is that you get in on a monday even if some of these things if some of the current market movements a little old i don't really encourage you to really get into uh, the really really old current market movements if it's past eight ten days but if you find one that's a new trend look at our report get in if you see that it's a line even better make your profit Make sure your margin level percent area is in the right place. Take your profit on your win on the Wednesday, on the Thursday, and pull out of the market and just wait. And if that's a little bit difficult for you, start practicing with us. Get access to a free, uh, free ten day free trial. Uh, you can just get access to whatever resources we have available to help you. Get access to it, guys. Get access to it. Get access to it. So here, the cryptocurrency market, you get access to the report, guys. You already know what's going to be happening right now. It's already on the report. I just want to show you guys. For those of you who are paid members, you're able to see it. Look at, guys. It's what's happening. It's reflecting right now. Right now. You see it here. I'm showing you this report. That's why I'm taking time to do this on a Thanksgiving. I wasn't going to do it. I'm just take, I am just took a step outside. I'm outside right now. So trying to take care of some stuff actually for thanksgiving but here here it is here it is right here and you're and you're going to be able to see if it's not only just an extreme stress and if it's 
if it's just an extreme stress and it hasn't been confirmed in a new direction for a new trend, you'll be able to see that here. But a lot of people are going to be walking in the dark, won't know what's going on, won't have a clue. And that's a very dangerous place to be, especially if you're interested in doing the whole cryptocurrency investing, because that's very, very risky. But any asset, indices, we're seeing some anomalies there. Okay, we could definitely see some new stresses, and I'll end it on that mark, on that point. Uh, we do see some extreme stresses coming up on the Australian uh, market. We see a takeover to taking place with the China market. The dollar's still doing its thing, guys. And uh, we see some extreme stress taking place with the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average. We got extreme stress taking place with the UK 100. We have extreme stress taking place with the IBEX. So we got a lot of extreme stress. Now, this one's interesting. We got a um, switch position with the long-term CMV of the NASDAQ, which caused it to become aligned, guys. Very, very interesting. I won't say much, but you guys who are paid members, you know what I've been saying. Okay? So, and actually, that's that shouldn't even be there because it was extreme stress but it was actually a takeover guys that was a takeover oh I, oh was, i'm sorry it was there already it just went down to the bottom of the notes i didn't see that there so i had already indicated that good so takeover so that's why there was a takeover on the cmv of the nasdaq which is kind of interesting look when you look at the current market value of these these trades guys they tell a huge story I'm going to have the FAQ on the website as well. And one of the frequently asked questions is how long or what is CMV? And the definition is there. You get the ebook, you'll get the definition there too. But it's the long term projected value. It stands for current market value, the long term projected value of a particular asset. And when you look at the long term projected value, of let's say here this index for example guys it tells it says a lot it tells you a story of what's what's expected what's to come in the market in the market now i will say this sometimes this also happens and i think we may see that take place with the cryptocurrency i don't know i try not to speculate too much i am just strictly on the technical analysis guys now on the current market movement there's a big element of that is fundamental analysis so there is some form of speculation involved but it's still heavily relied on i still heavily rely on the technical aspect of even current market movement the short-term version of the forex helper strategy Still, I have to wait until I see the white in their eyes, so to speak. I don't make any kind of move until I see a confirmation. Because sometimes these extreme stresses will take place. You guys know it. Those of you who read the report, those of you who hear the videos, who are studying, you'll hear extreme stress taking place in here. And then all of a sudden, the extreme stress removes. That's because we're kind of in a storm. So right now we're looking at a storm that's taking place right now. It's a mild storm, but it's definitely a heavy storm in the cryptocurrency market though. It's a mild storm in the uh, Forex market, in the commodities market, a mild storm, kind of a strange storm. That's because probably, maybe because it's a holiday or whatever. I'm not exactly sure why. Okay, that part I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I don't know exactly what the reasons behind the storm is. That's the whole fundamental analysis part where you got to research and see what the news stories are going on and go in depth and detail. That part I don't know. Okay, I'm more of the technical guy. All right, but um, there's definitely a storm in the uh, commodities market, light, but there is a category five hurricane in the cryptocurrency market right now. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean like, oh my goodness, what you're gonna see is if you go around, I'm pretty sure 
if you go online you're gonna i said i was gonna keep this short and sweet huh and i'm not <laughs> anyways if you go online and you look and you probably go to all the you know cryptocurrency stuff and oh my goodness i've been seeing texts come in from different companies that i signed up with different services for cryptocurrency and i've been seeing it and they're like oh 14 percent down and 15 percent down and they're going crazy but why go crazy if you get access to this report why are you why would you need to go crazy now i will say this sometimes there are unexpected takeovers we indicate that as well that you can't prevent <laughs> that's just the nature of the market sometimes a storm just comes out of nowhere is what that means but hey if so, for some reason you lose profit there's a slippage okay in your loss you take the direction if it's a new trend and there's confirmation you take the direction that it's going in and then guess what you make up for whatever that slippage was and you'll make that up especially if you're gonna um if you're gonna uh hold on to current market movement you'll make that up really quick in about a week or sometimes even less than a week it depends on how 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 the velocity of that momentum is of that new trend and um i'll leave it there i'll leave it at that guys happy holidays to you all be safe with your family we're gonna continue back on friday okay i'm gonna be back on track i'm just gonna make this update public the private version of this will also be uploaded um and then we'll have everything go out early first thing in the morning to all the private members for the 26th update and friday the 27th update for all members private and public okay guys god bless